Yes, I'm a lovely host. I still change to be um, NXT um, weekly. I just don't watch much the main roster WWE. I still have like three things on. If I'm being honest. But today we're going to go through the list of WWE World Heavyweight Champions. Now this title was first introduced in September. on October 2002 Triple H defeated Kane who is Intercontinental Champion to unify the Intercontinental Championship into the World Heavyweight Championship yet he's still with me I know it sounds confusing <laughs> I'm confused to hell already basically when I was a kid you had the World Heavyweight Champion you had the IC Champion champion, it's just European champion. Now there is one more, there's no European champion, is there? It's intercontinental title. They used to be the European title, but it's not anymore. And there's the US champion now, isn't there? But there wasn't back then. Anyways, our second holder of this belt. After, um, so Hunter got it in September 02. He held it for 76 days before dropping it to his best mate in the business Shawn Michaels in November 02 and this was the first elimination chamber match also including Jerry Girl, Booker T, Rob Van Damme and Kane well this played like a bit of hot potato here because Shawn Michaels held it for like a month that was at Survivor Series the first elimination chamber lost a month later Armageddon guess who too Triple H <laughs> he held it for 28 days and he lost, the title was changed hands in a three stages of hell match exciting Triple H then went on to hold that title for 280 days that was his second reign before he lost it unforgiven to Gold a career versus title match. Triple H was counted out. If Triple H was counted out or disqualified, he would lose the title. If Goldberg lost, he'd be forced to retire. What a shame that didn't happen. Goldberg held the title for 84 days before losing it to guess who? Triple H on December 14th, 2003 at Armageddon. Triple H won a triple threat match with Kane, Goldberg and himself. That was his third reign. I mean, only five reigns had been had and he had three of them. He held the title for 91 days at that point, Triple H did. Before losing it at WrestleMania. I think it's WrestleMania 20, the two X's. He lost it to Chris Benoit in 2004, uh, which was also a triple threat match between Benoit, Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Benoit held it for 154 days before losing it. What I thought was a really good match, I remember this one, against Randy Orton on August 15th, 04. Randy only held it for 28 days. I'm not sure why that was. I think there was 
steroid issue or something like that. I, I could be completely wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason he then dropped it a month later again to Triple H. So this is the eighth reign, and four of them have been by Triple H. And Triple H held it for 85 days until the title was vacated in December. Christ, I wouldn't want to see that. Batista held it for 91 days. 
circle on um, AEW. He had the title for 82 days after he cashed in his money, bank, money in the bank contract. The title went over to Raw. Oh, right, let me have a look. Um, why don't you transfer from Raw to SmackDown? Okay, I got you. Ray Mysterio won the title in a fatal four way for his second. CM Punk, uh, Jack Swagger and Rey Mysterio in that match. He held it for 28 days before Kane won Money in the Bank. Um, he won Money in the Bank, then he cashed it in. Oh, he won it at Money in the Bank, he cashed in his Money in the Bank contract to defeat Rey Mysterio. Kane's title reign was 154 days, that's impressive to be fair. Before Edge defeated him for his sixth reign at TLC, it was a fatal four way, including Alberto Del Rio, Rey Mysterio, Edge, and Kane. Edge then vacated the title. Um, Those Vicky Guerrero stripped him of it for using the spear, which she had previously banned. Ziggler then got the title on the 15th of February that same night after Vicky Guerrero decided to give him it as you do he didn't have to win it he was just giving it that same night he lost it back to Edge so Edge lost it Dorsicle was giving it then Edge got it back all on the same night um, he held it for 56 days to relinquish a title he was after he announced his immediate retirement as a result of being diagnosed with spinal uh, stenosis so yeah, it's only, he had to retire at that point he's back now as we know on a very like part time basis his best mate Christian then got the title on the 1st of May at Extreme Rules in a ladder match with Alberto Del Rio his title reign lasted only two days, I think, before Randy Orton took the title and spun down and held it for 75 days. We're now in July 2011. Christian wins back the title at Money in the Bank. He defeats Randy Orton by D uh, DQ after being hit with a low blow. Christian holds the title for 28 days before Orton takes it back again. August 14th, 2011, for 35 days. The title then became unbranded, so it was like Raw and SmackDown on both brands. Mark Henry at Night Champions took the title from Randy Orton and held it for 91 days. Big Show in 2011 TLC was a chairs match that took it from Mark Henry. Daniel Bryan the same night defeated Big Show. He, he cashed in his money in the bank contract and Daniel Bryan held the title for 105 days then. Sheamus, April 1st, 2012 at WrestleMania something <laughs> took the title from Daniel Bryan and held it for 210 days before Big Show got his second reign and held it for 72 days. Alberto Del Rio on January 8th, 2013 on SmackDown took the title from Big Show from Alberto Del Rio's first reign that lasted 90 days it was a last man standing match Dolph Ziggler beat Del Rio eh, when he cashed in his money in the bank for his second reign that lasted a bit longer than his first one it lasted 69 days Del Rio took it back on a payback in 2013 John Cena gets his third reign after beating Del Rio. Randy Orton in December 2013 at TLC defeats uh, John Cena before the title is unified with uh, Randy Orton defeats John Cena to unify the World Heavyweight Championship and the WWE Championship. The World Heavyweight Championship was Championship became the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So Randy Orton was the
the last person to hold what was then. 